What's going on, guys? It's your boy, John Liquidator, coming back with another video. So it looked like Colorado Buffalo's new member of the staff, NFL legend George Hegelman, breaks his silence about last year's team. Guys, for this one here, we got to go all the way up to Boulder. Let's get it. Let's go. <laughs> secret that Coach Prime is going into the 2024 season with all gas, no brakes, because we ultimately know what happened last year, man. The team that was assembled really didn't do too good, man, in certain aspects of the game. One notable part was the offensive line. Shador Sanders took a beating, bro, for the whole 2023 season, but that did not stop them from finishing with the 4-8 and eight record and making their statement in the Pac-12 and kicking off the Coach Prime era. Now, with all that being said, Coach Prime went into this offseason and updated his coaching staff and his player personnel department well he added none other the nfl legend george hegelman to the staff and george just wrapped up an interview with reporters and this is what he had to say guys i'm about to play a clip and come back with some commentary let's get it well, coach welcome to see you how'd you end up uh on staff here well coach prime and i we've known each other since 1995 when he came to the dallas cowboys i was already there for a year uh, the first day we met, we basically hit it off. And then, you know, when Prime walks into a locker room, you know, I know what you guys kind of kind of see what I've always played with superstars, Troy Aikman, Michael Irvin, Emmitt Smith, Charles Haley, Eric Williams, Larry Allen, the list went on. But Prime, he has something about him. And I got to know that thing about him, which was he cares more than just what the average person thinks. Um, so we hit it off from there, and that basically matriculated over to our relationship Today, we've always kept in contact. We've run a youth organization back in Dallas, starting back in 2008 when we started with our own kids. And um, we knew that eventually we would be able to bring our forces together and be able to help young men be able to do what they're doing. So I'm glad to be here. What would you say your role is here? Like, what are your day-to-day -day responsibilities? Yeah, so my role is a director of leadership and engagement. And I was just uh, telling the voice uh, a few minutes ago, our coaches do a great job of doing what they do on the field. But the thing about our kids is most of them want to transition to be pros one day. So with that being said, there's a whole lot more than just what you know on the field. The difference between a player and a pro is a pro is going to attack his plan, have a plan every single day. So because I've made that transition from high school to college, college to pros, won a Super Bowl, then transitioned out, I'm one of the better people to be able to do that, not just because of what I know, but because who I've been mentoring, I've got at least 15 guys in the NFL. I've got 10 first round draft picks. I got Trent Williams, a guy that I played with, not played with, but coached with and mentored since he was in high school. Uh, JC Latham's going to be a first round draft pick this year. These are all guys that I've helped mentor to get to where they want, get to where they want to go. So I'm going to do the same thing here. This is something, this is my lifeblood. I, I love coaching. I, I love working with kids. I love working with young staff members. It matters. When you have people in the building and not just know what they're doing, but love what they're doing. So the blueprint, right? You know, kind of, do you meet Absolutely. with each kid individually and kind yes. of go through their futures with them? Yeah, I mean, that's that's what it is. It's something that's totally organic. I think the biggest thing our kids appreciate is the fact that most of us in the building are people that have made those transitions before and have done it at a high level and have done it successfully. So you want to be able to give them that everywhere that they go. So I'm here to do that. Do you feel like this place is kind of, obviously, the, the whole theme of kind of the spring has been all the new coaches that have all the NFL experiences feel like this is kind of operating like an NFL kind of program in, in, in a way, just to, with the goal for all these guys and kind of preparing that for them, them for that, like, right now? You know, a great question, but you absolutely have to. I was just telling the voice again, college football is so much different than it's ever been. I didn't start playing until I was a junior in high school, but I knew whatever school I was going to go to, I was going to be there at least three to four years. But that's just not the case now. You got guys that are coming in from high school, guys transitioning in from other colleges, things of that nature. You have to be able to meet them exactly where they are. The NFL is that same way. It's the same way. So you got guys that you draft, you got guys that you bring in as free agents. That's exactly what we're doing. So the guys that want to make that transition to the next level, we're giving them, as he said, the blueprint for that every single day. How much did your experience at IMG Academy kind of help you be able to relate to, you know, the, the young football player nowadays? Yeah, well, you know what, that's a really good question because IMG is unique in the sense that none of the kids originate from Bradenton, Florida. 
like 100% of the kids, 99% of the kids, originate from different parts of the country and even the world for that matter. You know, so being able to bring those kids together, form a team and then have them be successful as a team after only getting them just like the transfer portal. You might get some kids in January, you might get some kids in May, but you gotta formulate a team that's up to win when their season comes. So it was a great experience for me. I actually started there as an offensive line coach and worked my way up as a director of football uh, in about four years time. So it was a great experience for me. I learned a lot from being there, a lot of great people there, a lot of good kids, great athletes. So it was an excellent experience. Watching from afar last year, what was your perspective on the program and now maybe how's it changed since you've gotten here? I think the biggest thing I can tell you is I didn't want to see my brother go through what he was going through. You know, and I, I was tired of sitting on the sofa watching it, you know, so like I said, all the stars lined up and I got an opportunity to come and help us achieve the things that we wanted to achieve. But just watching it on TV, there was a lot of great things that I was seeing. But as a coach, you can also look at some things and say, you know what? that can be fixed, this can be improved. And we've definitely done that in a very short period of time. So I'm definitely excited for this year. Given all your experience and everything and having been with Jordan, uh, seeing that IMG a little bit, uh, where do you think he is as far as- As you guys just heard, the George Heckelman, let it be known, he could not stay at home and watch Coach Prime go through the situations he was going through in Boulder, Colorado. And ultimately he came and joined the staff, but definitely get down in the comments section. Let me know y'all thoughts about this. Keep them bills on because you know I'm gonna bring the news. And like always, till next time, shake the headers off. I'm out of here. Peace out. Bird, you cut me. You should have seen by now. Cut me. Yeah, they talking about it. We coming. They doubting us. We coming. They think saying. We coming. They think it's a game. We coming. I don't give a damn what they say. You best believe. We coming.